to my YouTube channel, Blake Cartina. It's been a minute, but here we're talking about the trailer that just dropped for Godzilla vs. Kong, or Kong vs. Godzilla, whichever one of that is, that's the one that we're going to be talking about today. I'm really excited for everything that's happening right now and in the industry, and um, as a creative, I just want to tell everybody out there that you're not alone in trying to find jobs. I'm also trying to find jobs as a creative and it's a little bit difficult, but it's okay. We're gonna move through it. We will all be okay. So I have a little bit of a confession to make and it's that I have not seen Kong <laughs> or Godzilla, at least not a lot of the most recent ones. I just don't watch that kind of monster movie and they weren't very good from what I heard, like the most recent Godzilla movies. They're just rehashings of the old, very iconic Godzilla from Japan. It's just not my kind of movie, so I don't really know the history behind all of these different story arcs that Godzilla and Kong have gone through. But I have seen the most recent Godzilla trailer with Millie Bobby Brown as the little girl who somehow has a link with Godzilla. But let's talk about what I think about the trailer, just from a perspective of me. <laughs> First of all, I do think that the cinematography of this trailer is absolutely beautiful. I think that the shot composition in this trailer is actually really, really beautiful. It's very stunning and very iconic and it has very distinct moments where you do see that people put time and effort into making these shots look very, very nice and very beautiful. I'm not saying that every other movie hasn't done this, but it's just, it's nice to see that payoff, you know? There's a couple of CGI moments where uh, Kong doesn't look fully defined and he looks like a CGI character from the early 2000s. This is the first trailer that's come out. This isn't the final version, so I think if this is the rough, more rough version of Kong and Godzilla, then I think the final product is going to be so much better. There were a couple of moments where it just blew my mind and I forgot about different abilities that Godzilla had or that Kong had and just the history behind them. I don't know a lot about it like I told you guys, but I do know that some things about the history behind this, these two characters. And I think everybody wants a showdown between these two characters. It's kind of like the whole Civil War premise, Iron Man versus Captain America, everything that they promise I hope they'll deliver on. I won't be super disappointed, Pro probably a lot of other very hardcore fans might find some faults within the fight scenes that happen in the movie. Because I don't know a lot about Kong or Godzilla, I don't understand a lot of what might happen in terms of predictions, but I do think that these two little girls that are shown in the trailer, which one is Millie Bobby Brown and one is this uh, very, very young smaller girl. I don't actually know her name, her character name, or her actress's name, but uh, they are these two girls and they um, are going to meet eventually because that's just how things happen and they're gonna have to work together to resolve and have peace between the two monsters. I think this movie is gonna be very action-based and just judging by the perspective that we see everything in, we see everything from an aerial perspective. Yeah, it's a little bit it takes you out of the world just a little bit. Some things that I've noticed from studying uh, visual effects shots for good versus bad is that one of the ways that can take you out of a movie is by having an unrealistic camera perspective. Now, because of technology, we are allowed um, some aerial shots based off of a helicopter or something like that. But for CGI, if you can't capture it in camera like normal and it's not like a very um, achievable place to film from, then it kind of takes you out of the movie. What I do love about this trailer is that it's not all the same like blue and green template of colors as everybody else. There's the scene in, I think it's Tokyo, it's probably Tokyo, where Godzilla is just trashing the place and his bright beam of light is cutting through all of these neon colored buildings and it's so cool just to see all of that perspective and the colors behind all of that. From my perspective, if I was doing this, so if I was doing this, I would stick with the standard, you know, oh, everything's dark and then suddenly this bright beam of light comes out of Godzilla, but they didn't do that. It's this very bright, neon, very lively city full of life and the cutting through that is even more devastating. It's because you see all of the lights just go out one by one as the beam hits them. I feel like they're going to take more on the perspective of Kong because he's on the human side. Maybe? I don't know. Plus, a lot of people resonate more with monkeys because of their closeness in our physique and our, like, thinking patterns. Obviously, we're 
monkeys are very, very complex in their minds. Probably the closest to humans, that is what I remember. Rather than Godzilla, who is half dragon, half crocodile, whatever. I don't know, I could be blasphemous by saying that, but he's reptilian. Reptiles don't have hardly any physical features that are very similar to humans. So, that's kind of how things are going. Now there's a whole fight on whose side of the team you are on. And I can't say I'm on one side or the other, but I'm erring on the side of Godzilla. One, because I know more about Godzilla. Two, because I'm always erring on the side of non-human. But again, I feel like my opinion is not valid compared to everybody else's because of just my lack of knowledge. So that's what I thought about the Godzilla trailer. Let me know what you thought about the Godzilla trailer down in the comment section below. Let's have a discussion. Let's hash things out. Let's maybe fight. Maybe not. Probably not. Let's not fight. I am letting you guys know that I'm trying to push for 800 followers, 800 subscribers for 2021. It's not an unreasonable goal, but I'm hoping to reach it. Uh, so if you could please help me out by subscribing and liking this video and then also ringing the bell notification so that you are one of the first people to know when I upload a new video. I upload on every Thursday, uh, sometimes every other Thursday, but it's always on a Thursday unless I pop in a surprise here and there on a Tuesday. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great random Thursday and I'll see you on the other side of the screen.